Now, so we're gonna commemorate James in birthday. Now, come on. Let's start from the revelation. John. Chapter 14, Chapter 12. Or even 10. 11. I was given a read like a measuring rod and was told. Was told. Go and measure the temple of God and the altar and count the worshippers there. But exclude the outer court, do not measure it. Come on, if we all know that, we don't do these things like that, isn't it? We do it in a different way, opposite way. It's opposed to the law, common law. We don't do things like that, it's opposed to the law, it's common way. It's common sense. Now, listen to that. Do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will trap on the holy cities the forty two months. They will give the power to the mind two witnesses. They will do prophecy for one two hundred and sixty days clothed in sackcloth. There are two olive trees and the two lamps that, that stands before the Lord of the earth. That's what makes sense. And I agree with John. Evangel is the revelation book. As for others, I would say shame on them. Doesn't make sense at all. Come on. Makes sense and doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all. It's against the law. So John the Evangelist the Revelation book is right. But what the opposite side says is wrong, right? Doesn't go that way, isn't it? Now these are the two olive trees and two lamps that they stand before the Lord of the earth. When he tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouth and they watch their enemies. And this is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. Now, come on. That's the revelation of St. John of Evangelius. From this side is okay. From the opposite side is vulgarity, vulgata, cruelty. I would say something bad, opposite side. Now, who says that word? Vulgata, opposite way, is wrong. So, gender is right. It's right. If you know what I mean. Paradox of life. Come on.